So the plan is we're gonna cook these burgers here, this bacon, and then we're gonna sleep here. <laughs> Tonight, we are outside of Planet Fitness here in Bend, Oregon, and we are cooking burgers on the side of a street. Burgers, onions, and inside that plastic Tupperware, bacon. I keep my small little square shape uh, cast iron pan tucked up inside the toolbox there. It only really gets used on the grill for onions and mushrooms and stuff like that. Oh, keep it all in there, keep it all in there, keep it all in there. Keep most of it in there, keep most of it in there, keep most of it in there. So we'll cook those onions down the whole time we're doing these burgers and bacon. We'll let them reduce down so they're super delicious. Shortened up my bacon, that way it fits in my cast iron better. Bacon's done. All right, so we'll get rid of the bacon first. These onions are looking done too. We'll let them just continue to sit and cook off to the side in the cast iron pan while it's hot. So the good news is that despite that sign that says no camping, the lovely town of Bend allows you to park your car on the street for 72 hours. You're not really supposed to be sleeping in it, but everybody is in Bend. So yeah, just gonna post up here and get a nice workout and shower in the morning after these delicious burgers. And 
then we're gonna season up the other side of the burger. Salt, pepper, simple. I'll go over and get myself done cooking for us. So I used to not be a meat flipper. I used to only flip my meat once, once per cook cycle. But now I started watching Sam the Cooking Guy. He's an advocate of over flipping your meat. It makes decent sense. The idea is that if you flip your meat multiple times, you'll be less likely to end up with like a spot that's undercooked one spot overcooked in another area you'll have a more well-rounded meat in your mouth This, this right here is the nectar of the gods. I love bacon fat. It'll probably be what kills me one day because I save it and then I cook other stuff and make things extra delicious with this right here. The goal for these burgers is what the goal should be for every burger. Perfect medium rare. We'll see if we get it. These are some cauliflower things that Marissa likes. They're keto. And I'm also a short one. They're a bun substitute. They're not, they're not terrible. They're not great. They're food. All right. Provolone cheese for all the burgers. One for me. Those are done. Those are done. All right. That's some nice provolone cheese there. Look at that stringiness. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. You guys are coming inside. Marissa's little bun things are cooked up pretty well. Let's see if I can fit those on here too. Oh, I ripped one. Ow, she out. That's the problem with these things. Ow, they freaking fall apart so easy. Ha! The towels were dried, but the clothes were soaking wet, so I only had two quarters on hand. So this is our regular procedure. Oh! When we're sleeping on the side of a road, slide out in, narrow quarter. Marissa's gonna wish the camper were more clean. I can see it in her eyes. All right, let's see. Oh, is that still hot? Not too hot. Oh, that's my cooling rack for the cast iron pans when they're hot. It's not very hot, it should be fine there. All right, I'm gonna go close up the toolboxes. Are you gonna make me a nice plate? Sure. <laughs> Thanks.
All right, well that wraps up cooking outside of Planet Fitness. I'm gonna go eat that burger. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and stick around for more stuff like this. Thanks.